Well, morning everyone and welcome to my place of work. Um, this is an insurance job I'm doing today. Uh, I boarded the ceiling the other day because it was falling down. All the walls, I've prepped them up. I had to hack a load of old plaster off because obviously the fire that was here has just pulled all the, pulled all the plaster off the walls. Um, yeah, so my mission today is get the ceiling skimmed and maybe hit a couple of walls and yeah so let's get to it let's get some plaster mixed up That's absolutely perfect that. What you want to do as well, give your trowel a little prime, because otherwise what happens is it will just fall off. So just give it a little, give it a little prime up before you start, and then it's going to stay on there better then. Right. Let's get cracking. Well, I'm a right-handed plasterer, so right-handed plasterers normally start from the left to the right as a golden rule. So basically, it's just a matter of get it on first. Squeaky little pop up I've got here. That should be quite annoying. Get it right into your corners. Don't worry about, I mean, get it fairly flat, but you haven't got to worry about getting it dead flat because I've got my speed skins over there in the corner. That's what's going to flatten them out for me. Just concentrate on getting it on the ceiling and not dropping too much.
Right, that's stage one done. I don't know whether you can see that, but empty bucket. Just the right amount. Right, next stage is to get it flattened. So, what we have here is um, the old trusty speed skim. Just give that a little wet down. It's got um, a little roller pole that goes on here, it's a little attachment. And then you can just flatten the ceiling without having to worry about using a trowel. I'm using the big one, I normally use a 1200 one, but I'm using the big one because this ceiling's fairly flat anyway. So there's no big bumps. So this just covers a better area. That's perfect, that. lump in there and then what plaster comes off you can just put it back in the bucket that's as flat as a pancake now both ways on it. See any little holes you can just take what's off of the speed skim and then put it into them. Stage, I'll just go around the edges and just tidy the edges up. Oh, it's just pulled a line there, must be a lump. Taking it off the wall. Yeah, like I say, I'll just go around my edges with the trowel now, just tidy up any areas and job done. I'll use my Rafina Superflex for that. Brilliant little trowel. All you're doing, just taking any little lumps out, ready for the next coat, which won't be far away. along the way just fill them in Well that's the first coat on, all nice and smooth, all the edges are done. Just got to give that 10-15 minutes and then I'll put the next one on. It's come out lovely and flat there. Right, let's get the second coat mixed up and put it on. I'll probably put it on a time lapse for you because it gets a bit boring watching me do the same thing for 15 minutes. So let's get cracking. Mm -hmm. 
giving it its final trails, final stages and we're done. So let's just leave that alone for five minutes. So I'm just going over the next stage now, which is wetting the plaster a little and then troweling it. Just to smooth it off even more. This is what gives it its nice finish. You've got all the holes out now. So this is the next bit. you can take off of the plastic trowel at the end. sure how well that's sharp on camera but that's as smooth as anything that no water marks I think I'm gonna hit this wall now well for some reason my whisk my plastic whisk has packed up on me I just mixed up for these two little returns on the chimney breast 
Um, I wanted to do this wall as well, but I can't mix up any more plaster now. So I have got another plastering whisk at home. So uh, I'll bring that tomorrow, but I'm gonna have to order another one because it's handy to have a spare one with you anyway. So I'm gonna have to call an end to it now. So I'll see you again and give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Music